Uh, you know, it's a good feeling to do something for the team. You know, we just want to make plays as a defense. You know, I just happened to make the play today, you know, to get things rolling. So, you know, it's just a good feeling. Josh, there's been a few dominant games since Harbaugh's been here. Do you feel like today's like one of the most dominant games you guys have had? Yeah, I feel like as a defense, you know, we really went out there and we played, you know, how we should play every week. Um, you know, um, it's just just so happy, you know, um, they got a couple, we got a couple penalties, you know, where the game would have been much um, much more better for us. But, you know, as a defense, I feel like you really dominated the game. At what at what point can you guys tell, because I, I remember Chris Wormley at halftime when you guys played Florida, he was saying that you guys could just tell that there was a moment that Florida was breaking. Did you guys have a moment today where, yeah. where you felt like Nebraska was? Yeah, after the first series. After the first, yeah. after the first series? Yeah. We knew they didn't want to play. Why? Why is that? You just tell the intensity. It was kind of flat. Like I just, I, I personally just knew that they didn't want to play with us. And when you, when you sense that, does it, does it make you just kind of turn it up a little bit more? Yeah, it just gives you that extra feel, like, like you just made, like you know, somebody not want to play anymore. Like now, just turn it up a next level, make them feel like they have no other choice but to like leave. Can talk about the importance of that Lawrence Marshall tip pass because it looked like he kind of had the the tight end maybe. Yeah, I mean, um, we we um we got some things to fix on that play. You know, somebody was supposed to have the hole, got sucked up in the play action, but you know him tipping that ball just made made a bad play and turned into a good play. How Jordan Glasgow <clears throat> snaps since the game? I think he played great. I know I, I feel like he played that role extremely well. You know, Kalik had to set out the first half. And, you know, Glass been working hard in practice this week, and he came out there and he just played it, played how he played. We talked about it a little bit after the Notre Dame game, even that SMU game, that the defense like played really well. There are a few mistakes and maybe let up some touchdowns. I mean, do you feel like you're kind of starting to clean up those mistakes? As yeah, you I feel like every week, um, you know, we're getting better and better with like not getting penalties or not um, blowing coverages and stuff like that. You know, them. It's a long season. You know, it's football. You mess up, like that's that's what the game is. But you know, we just try to find a way to limit each mistake. You know, every week. So you know, I feel like going into these next couple of weeks, you know, we just still gonna harp on not messing up, not getting dumb penalties and stuff like that. Is there is it sorry? Is there a different feel too when when everybody's kind of buzzing on the defense? You guys are flying around making plays all over the place. Is there a different feel in the game like today? Yeah, it's just, you feel like we um, we're unstoppable. Like nobody can do anything on us. Like the game is in our hands. You know, if they don't score, they don't win. You know, we go by that motto. So, you know, when we just flying around, when everybody just having a breakout game, everybody just playing, playing football, you know, it's just a good feeling as a defense that we know that we got guys. Like, we put, we had, a, we even had the twos go in there and they played their, their, you know, they played their hearts out and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a good feeling, you know, as a defense that we can do big things. And, you know, we just want to make sure we can do that for the rest of the season. How fun is it to watch Devin Bush play? Uh, I mean, I've been watching him since high school. So when I see him play, it's just like, it just brings back memories, you know. I just love watching him play. He fills me up. I do something, I fill him up. You know, it's just great playing off each other and stuff like that. Can you talk about the progress you've seen from Brad Hawkins? I mean, that first game he had a couple passes maybe he was going after he didn't get. And, you know, he's been kind of, and Harbaugh just said he's an ascending player. Yeah, um, Brad, since he's been on the defense, you know, Brad never played defense before he got to the school. But ever since Brad been on defense, every day just getting better and better and better. And you can tell by the style of play, you know, Brad's a guy, um, me and Tyree um, and Coach Partridge feel like we can lean on, you know, get a rotation going. You know, we got three guys that can play, so we can play all three. And, you know, it's just, I just like the way Brad attacks every day. And you know, like, ask me questions like, "Oh, like, what you seeing out there? Like, what should I do for this?" You know, he wants to learn and he wants to get better. You had a chance to talk to Cleek Hudson after the game. No, nah, I haven't. I didn't see him in the locker room. I just came straight in here. I took a shower. Came straight. What are you guys thinking? You know, defensively, all those, all those targeting penalties. Um, I mean, it's the game of football now. There's nothing we can really do about it. You know, just try to limit the amount of penalties we, you know, we have. So, you know, just keeping our head up and not going for anything above the chest plate. Nothing you can really do about it. What did you think about the atmosphere today with the maze out and everything? It looked like a pretty good turnout. Yeah, I, I, I really love the atmosphere. You know, Nebraska brought a lot of people more than I ever seen from another team in the stadium. So, you know, I just felt like um, as, a, as, a, as Michigan, you know, we did a good job keeping that momentum and keeping the atmosphere in our in our in our way. Is this win more satisfying than last week's just from a complete effort perspective? I mean it's a, it's more satisfying because you know it's Big Ten. 
And, you know, it's a step one step closer for us to reaching our goals that we have set in place. So, you know, it's just every win is satisfying. You said that you didn't you thought that you didn't feel the intensity from them. Was that like midway through the first quarter or when you guys got up or was that right from the get go? Um, Nebraska? Yeah. Uh, yeah um, after the first series, mm -hmm. um, when we went back out there, we just knew they wanted to give up. How do you, how how do you, you sense that? that? Uh, you can just see it in their eyes. It's like something you feel. It's not like it's not really anything I can like put in the words. You know, you just tell by the way receiver running this route or the way you get blocked or the type of passion you know they're playing with. You know, we just sense that they ain't have it, so we just use that to our advantage. Yeah, is, is any part of that just feel like we're just better than them too? Uh, I mean, you know, I feel like we just worked harder this week in practice than they did on their end. You know, we put in the work, we went out there, and we did what we had to do. The offensive players, Ron and, and Bredesen, talked about Don Brown mm -hmm. kind of reminding you guys what Scott Frost had said two years ago. Yeah. How much did that, did that resonate? Uh, I mean, it, it resonated, but it wasn't really a big thing because, you know, that was two years ago. I was a freshman at the time, and, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I, I did, like, it did, like, resonate because, like, we beat them 52 to 14, so I don't get why, like, he, he thought that. So, you know, we just wanted to come out here and make a statement. Are so, you making a statement? Your interceptions the last couple weeks? I mean, I, I, I'm I know you talked about I'm just trying to help the it. team. <laughs> and what did you I mean, obviously it was tipped, but you were, yeah, what did you see? Yeah, I, I knew the guy was open, and once I seen the ball tip, you know, I just wanted to go catch the ball. When you notice a team is sort of, you know, down like the, like you guys notice, do you guys talk about it or is it just sort of something that It's that something we all like, yeah, we all feel and like we know because Coach Brown starts to notice it too and you can tell by our, our play calls, you know, getting more aggressive, you know, because we know that um, we can put the team in a bad spot and like put them against the wall, you know, we and basically do what we want. Is that, is that kind of like smelling blood in the water? Is that yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Do, I mean, the quarterbacks that have given you guys trouble this year have been mobile guys. Their starters, a mobile guy. What I think, or what I guess, goes into stopping a guy. I mean, um, you know, we got uh, in practice. We got Joe Milton. Right. He's a runner. So you know, we just if we can stop him in practice, you know, we go into the game thinking we can stop there. Whoever we playing a mobile quarterback. So you know, mobile quarterbacks are hard to stop in, in college football. And you know, we just try to focus on it. Thank you. Appreciate it, Josh. Thank you.